A member of the women's senior national team from 1983 to 1992, Margot Miranda helped the teams in bronze at the 1986 and 91 World Championships. She was also part of the silver medal winning squad at the 1983, 84, and 89 World Cups and the bronze medal winning team at the 1991 World Cup. Not the most physically imposing athlete, Miranda made up for a lack of size with pinpoint accuracy on the offensive end and a knack for converting power plays. Always quick with a joke, Miranda was part of a special group of women that paved the way for the successes of the present day women's national team. Margot is one of the pioneers uh, for women's water polo, both for the City of Commerce and also um, for USA Water Polo. She played back in the early days when the popularity of the sport and of women playing in the sport uh, was much less than it is now. I think she was an ambassador. She was one of the first to go to different colleges, not stay in the little, you know, comfortable zone. She went out there and um, made things happen and, and embraced everyone. So that's huge. It's not like she went someplace and didn't fit in. I think she was like a chameleon. She could fit in anywhere. She was also a pioneer in the early uh, beginnings of the national team and the junior national team. She was just a, a constant on the teams playing for a decade or more. When I think of Margot, I think of our first trips to New Zealand, Australia, Europe, just having fun. Everybody who did it in the 70s, 80s were really pioneers. It was for the, like if they saw it for the love of the game in basketball, it was absolutely something that you had to love it because it was painful. I mean, you're sleeping on floors, you're sleeping in churches, you're sleeping in these youth hostels where there's, no one should be sleeping in them. <laughs> I mean. Margo and I were always one of the youngest ones on the team, so we were always on the floor. Like myself, not, not a very big player, but played very big in the pool. She's five foot nothing. Amazing little stick of dynamite. I feel like she would steal balls, she could play the hole, and I mean, these are big girls. She was playing six foot Holland girls and stealing the ball and playing defense, running the hole, and amazing defensively. She had an outside shot that never in a million years would you think would make it with accuracy, a lob that make every goalie crazy. You weren't expecting that lob shot from that angle and and the goalie wasn't expecting that lob shot from that angle and, and she would make it. And uh, and that's uh, who Margot was on the national team. I think she was her own person, even as a little girl. People try to fit in, she didn't. She just, this is who I am and very happy and comfortable within her skin, which I think is, says a lot at that age. And even today, she has the most amazing children. She's an amazing human being. <laughs>